Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News. And again, this is part three of my deploying SSTP slash VPN with Windows Server 2012. And it's time to test it out. So if you guys have been following part one and part two, you should be up to this point to test it out. Okay, so I am, this is my server. I'm running everything on a virtual machine and I'm gonna run this test on my local machine. So I'm gonna minimize this and I'm gonna open up a browser and again because I'm not using a ISP host or uh, DNS hosting services I have to use the IP address of my server for this to work so but most likely you guys have that up and running so I, I type in my IP address for my virtual machine and this is what I get so that's that's a good thing and uh, just to double check that that is my IP address I'm gonna open up the command prompt and I'm gonna show you guys that that is the IP address right there on my server machine so my web services is working now <clears throat> because I'm using a self-service sign certificate we need to get the client to trust it so the way that you do it is on the address you want to do a cert SRV cert you know, certificate service and you get this now the username and password that you're going to use is the same username and password that we did in part two that we gave access to. Okay, if you guys don't remember that or you don't want to watch the video, go to my blog site. There, the link is right below the description of the video. Uh, you can click on that, and I got some nice little pictures with descriptions, basically my notes. And so let's log in to this. Okay, so once you log in successfully, you're going to get this nice little page, and that's good to go. And the option that you want to do is you guys want to uh, put the certificate somewhere. So that means you got to download the certificate. So you're going to do is uh, download a CA certificate or certificate chain, blah, blah, blah. So that's what you want. And from here, you want to download a certificate and then download it somewhere that you guys would trust so I'm gonna put it on my downloads folder and it's already completed so let's open it up this is right here so I'm just gonna cut it and I'm gonna put it in my desktop because this is where I want it and the certificate is right here awesome so that's the certificate okay so <clears throat> once the certificate is downloaded we need to launch our MMC MMC um, Microsoft Manage Mint Console. I'm going to hit yes on this. And you want to go to File, Add or Remove Snap-in. Uh, the one that you want would be Certificates. You guys want Certificates. There you go. Add that. You guys are going to do a uh, computer account. Next. Local computer. Hit net Finish. And then OK it. And you want to drill down into expand the certificates trusted root certification authorities inside certificates right click all tasks and you want to import now you want to navigate to where you <clears throat> just downloaded that cert from and it's on the desktop so right there hit next place all certificates on this following store so hit next hit finish and it has been imported successfully so that is a good thing and there it goes that's the certificate right there guys now the next thing that you guys need to do is because <clears throat> because we're using a self-signed certificate the client cannot check the CRL or the CA uh, even with some purchase certificates you may need to do this okay so if you do purchase a, certif uh, a certificate you probably need to do this so we need to open up the reg the registry which I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to open up RegEdit. Hit yes on that. And within RegEdit, you want to go into uh, local machine, go to systems, current, control, control set, services. You want to look for the SSTP service node. So let's look for that. <clears throat> Here it goes. And we're going to expand that, go to parameters, and within parameters, you want to create a new 32-bit word, new, and it's going to be a new 32-bit D word, and the name that you guys are going to give it is no, capital N, O, cert, 
revocation check. Okay, hit enter on that, and you want to give it a value of one. Okay, so let me make sure I spell that right. And it looks like it's okay. Awesome. And we're going to close the reg and we're going to close our console because we don't need our console anymore. Now it's time to set up a SSTP VPN connection and see if everything works okay for us. So, what we want to do is when we want to open up uh, the network and share center, so I'm going to go right here on my host machine where my virtual machine of the SSSTP a VPN server is at. So, I'm going to go right here, going to open network and sharing, and then within the change your networking settings. We want to set up a new connection on network. So we're going to click on that. We want to connect to a workplace. Hit next. You want to use my internet connection as a VPN. That's the option that you guys want. Okay. Now you're actually going to put the address and the destination. So the destination, I'm going to leave it, uh, let's add it as VPN. Let's just go uh, BJ VPN, right? And the address, let's give it the address of my uh, server. Now, most likely you guys are entering your DNS. So you're basically entering some whatever you guys, you know, if, if I had it working with a DNS hosting site, this, would, uh, this is what I would be entering, like, you know, GoDaddy. But because I don't have those kind of services, I have to give it the, the IP address, okay? Then you guys want to hit next and then give the user. The user would be the user that you provided the you know the access to. Remember the password and the domain. The domain would be that. Whatever your domain is. And let's hit connect and see if it goes through. Looks like it's verifying the user and it looks like it's connecting using the WAM mini port. It's registering the computer on the network. And we're connected, guys. Uh, that's about it. Uh, we are good to go. I am good to go, as you can see right here on my network and sharing center. I have BJP VPN. And uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video, which is the last part of my SSTP VPN configuration and installing. If you guys have any questions or you have any any comments please leave comments right below if I did something wrong or there's another bay a, a better way to do it hey let me know I'm always willing to learn guys so please uh, subscribe please like please leave comments at the very bottom of the video the description part there's a bunch of links that you can guys check out especially as my notes and uh, hopefully I catch you guys on the next video peace out